get a brand new week for PSO2 new Genesis and of course some new content in here and a brand new boss battle quest as well that I am super pumped for and allegedly they're going to be super hard but we're going to cross that bridge later tonight when we are live with PSO here on YouTube and Twitch. But before we get into all that though, welcome back to your number one stop for PSO2 New Gen 6 gameplay how to then of course all that jazz. And today I am here to discuss everything that is coming in this week to NGS so you know what's going on as well if now a good time to come back if you're all taking a break. But before we hop into all that, I do want to give a giant thank you to everybody that support over on uh, patreon.com slash macon. Subscribe over on twitch.tv slash Troy Macon. And everyone that hit that wonderful join button here on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, my dudes. And a big shout out uh, to, of course, a 1K for subscribing on the Lunar Teal over on Patreon. If you are interested in supporting the channel uh, for as low as you can go, be sure to check out the links in the description. But with that, let's jump into this. Let's talk about what's coming this week inside of NGS. So to start off, the big new here is, of course, the brand new Dark Falls quest coming in. And, of course, this is a standing quest, so this is not going anywhere. And from what it seems, it seems like we can do this at any point. I guess we're going to find out when we do our live stream later tonight. Also, it's thundering outside, so we're going to see if we're going to lose power. I have no idea if you guys can heal that or not. But nonetheless, uh, this is a high difficult quest as well. And it will be made up of a team of four. So this is a way smaller than an origin quest. Uh, but nonetheless, four men take on the brand new Dark Falls. And we will see exactly how they're going to pan out. But hopefully it's that difficult. And hopefully we'll have awards that will actually match it. I guess we will find out once again later tonight here on YouTube and over on Twitch. But with that being said though, as a little side announcement of what right along with the new Dark Fall is a core arc record uh, for Geomatic Labyrinth or Wink 2 Solo in Trania is available for all classes. So there you go, brand new arc record if you like the more combat focus and not just riding around on a hoverboard. But outside of that, we do have the other big news of the week, which is of course our crossover event with Uncle from another war heal. Uh, so this is a anime crossover. And if you're interested in watching this. I know the dub is on Netflix. I'm not for sure if the subs is available on like Crunchyroll or other places. Or wherever you might watch your anime. Uh, but I did see this uh, on Netflix if you want to check out the anime. But the main thing about it of interest. Is of course mainly all the Sega stuff coming in uh, for your houses. And if you're anything like me. Or you know a whole bunch of people that missed out on some of the like Sega merch that you could get in Bait Game. It finally coming back in this a crossover event. Right along with of course the character from the anime. But let's be honest. We are all here for the Sega merch to be able to put in our houses. So that is an AC scratch and available right now. And from there we do have ourselves a brand new a limited time quest coming in here as well. A weird blazing battle and more. So, of course, this is a four player a quest uh, that will take place out on the island in Alio. Well, not really much happens out there other than, of course, the dread being out there. Uh, but nonetheless, it's finally good to see we turning back to some of the early area where you started the game, finally having something out there. And, of course, you can do this right now. From any of the main cities. And outside of the Uncle AC Squad. We are going to be getting a, another a summer one. I know a lot of people are very excited for that one. Since as you can see. It does have a lot of like average clothes. Uh, that you can go ahead and pick up. Like t-shirts and uh, pants and whatnot. Uh, so if you are interested in more casual stuff. While along with some of the emotes. Uh, this uh, might be the AC Squatch for you. <laughs> That being said, we do got a whole bunch of other stuff that is tied to the Uncle Crossover here. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the extra stuff that is happening through campaigns here. Uh, so to start off, we do have a login bonus here to get some standees uh, from the anime as well for the main character. As well as a brand new poster art here. I still kind of wish the NGX character was actually drawn in the same art, but you know. You know, let me know how you feel about that portal below. 
but we also of course have some stamps as well that is happening and at fall of the login event that will be happening from today uh, to the 12th so you only got a few days uh, to take part in it so be sure to get in the pso and get this now and of course the gifts will be distributed to your inventory of the character who fulfilled the request so that will automatically be dropped in your inventory so outside of of course of the login stuff here we do have information for another campaign that I tied to that, which is of course some boots to yellow triggers here. So during the campaign, which will be lasting the same amount of time as the login campaign, which is the 9th to the 12th, is by taking part in uh, some yellow trigger. We got Pacific one, we will get into in a moment. You can go ahead and get your hands on some extra affiliates as well as a new daily a task that will also be inside of your campaign stuff but let's talk about how and where you need to go so to start off when it comes to the yellow trigger it is only going to be for alio and retain uh, so as you can see that will be a little lower level and seem to obviously be for newer player but hey you can still take advantage of it as well as when it comes to the experience you will be getting a 100 percent extra affiliate a on the heel as well as enemy HP have been reduced by 50%. Uh, so that means you can run this a lot faster and get you a lot more affiliates. And of course, by completing the daily attack, you're going to go ahead and get you five yellow. So you're going to get one free one every single day as well, as long as you complete that task. Then back to the more uncle stuff here. So we do have a preview of the items uh, that you're going to be able to get from all the outfit, all the variants. As well as, of course, you are going to be able to get your hands on some of these dandies and stuff for your house as well outside the login campaign. And, of course, we do have ourselves the actual Sega Morch. We all want it. Sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to have the Dreamcast in it. So, it looks like the Dreamcast is still a lot to bait PSO. Uh, but, you can go ahead and get your hands on a Master System. Um, I want to say Mark 2, B2. I don't remember exactly. Uh, maybe it was Mark 1. Maybe that what it is. Let me know in the comment here. I always get the mantle system in my head confused a little bit. But nonetheless, we do get the mantle system as well as the Genesis and Mega Drive version. And of course, the Saturn for a Japanese and North America as well. Once again, this is stuff I'm excited for. As well as, of course, you can get your hand on a, a Sega controller. And for whatever reason, if you want to become a, a Saturn, you will get a hell accessory to allow you to do just that. And then of course we got all look at some of the artwork. You're gonna be also be able to unlock for your house as well here, which is a decent amount. And then uh, we have also a couple more stuff tied uh, to the console itself here. With not only the mantle system, but we also have the 32S Sega CD, the uh, Sonic and Knuckle. Uh, connection as well as a, a sonic cartridge so look like you can indeed build the tower of power if you want to have that in your house and of course like always with a brand new week a brand new episode of central is out with episode 93 so once again if you keep up with the webcomic here you go brand new chapter for you to read and our final campaign here is the treasure scratch uh, so this is a hopefully going to be a fun little campaign here for all of you who have won any origin quests here because for uh, the week or I should say a uh, one from now to the 5th of September so you got yourself roughly almost a month here to take part in a campaign you can get your hands on some EG legacy uh, badges and tickets so a fall of how to get your hands on this stuff there are a few ways here so to start off here, when it comes to the actual uh, etchy badges, the tickets are going to be traded uh, for motion change, uh, as well as some emotes. And of course, uh, the will be emotes and stuff that will lead to etchy to the path. And then when it comes to the tickets, we're going to go ahead and get them by taking part in origin quests here. We do have a lot of the listed here, such as Dark Ball, Battle for Hopper Lake, Mining Wig is coming back, so have fun with that. A couple other origin quests as well here. And of course, there is a, a little bit of update here for the origin quests. So you're going to be able to do every single origin quest twice uh, within the time limit. So we're going back to the way Bait PSO2 operated, which is great. 
And of course, uh, you will get up to a two ticket poor origin quest heal. And the enemy itself will have 30% less AP. So that way, you can get through the origin quest battle and hopefully uh, take part in two of them before it ends. And of course, we do have a breakdown here of which origin quest is happening and what time it will be happening at. Well, I will have a link in the description to this and all the other articles so you can go ahead and check that out so you can keep up with it. Uh, and then also outside of Origin Quest, there will be uh, some uh, tasks that you can take part in uh, three times a poor day uh, to also get your hands on some of the tickets as well so you can work on getting you uh, some of the uh, badges. And there you have it though, everything happening inside of pso2 new genesis this week so as you can see a lot of little exciting thing happening some decent campaigns some decent rewards and once again we will see uh how the new origin quest gonna operate or not origin quest standing quest i mean gonna operate later tonight because tonight gonna be a, a busy night if you come over to the stream uh, because we are doing our a donation incentive that were met a cooking stream tonight. I'm going to be making some lasagna. And from there, we will hop into PSO. Check out the new update. Check out the new classes. So if you're on ship one and want to join, be sure to come on over to twitch.tv slash Troy Macon. And also, we might also play some more Palia as well. So we did get into that beta. And it actually really good. Uh, so if you're interested in all that, a link below once again to all the articles as well as my live stream. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and do it for me. And hopefully my power don't go out from the thunderstorm that you may or may not heal. And I will see you in the comments.